What's going on, smart people? A couple days ago, I mentioned that today I had a quantum mechanics exam. Not quiz. Quiz, not exam. I keep saying exam. I had a quantum mechanics quiz today, and I figured for today's video I'd talk about how it went, what it covered, all that jazz. By the way, I think that these sort of update videos might be getting a little bit boring, so throughout the rest of the week, I'm going to be changing things up a little bit. That way, all the videos aren't just me saying, This is what I did today. One of the videos is actually on the small angle approximation, which I think should be pretty fun, so I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this is what I did today. The quiz was five questions, one of which was a bonus problem. Four of the questions covered the harmonic oscillator. More specifically, it was really on the raising and lowering operators and, and combining them in certain ways. Two of those problems were just calculating matrix elements when you combine these raising and lowering operators in various ways. Like if you want to express, say, the kinetic energy or the potential energy. You know you've got P squared and an X squared if you're talking about the harmonic oscillator. So it's just making sure people are comfortable calculating those kinds of matrix elements. I know that sounds vague, but I just don't want to give away the exact problems that the professor gave us in case they want to recycle it into the next semester, so I hope you understand. The third question had nothing to do with the harmonic oscillator. It was actually just on the different pictures of quantum mechanics. So we were given some initial state in the Schrodinger picture and told to show that it is also an eigenstate in the Heisenberg picture, which I thought was a really fair question. Now the fourth problem is where I did some stumbling. I'm not going to get full points on the fourth problem. We were basically given this Hamiltonian that was in terms of the number operator plus some non-constant terms that were in terms of the ladder operator. So the first term looked like the harmonic oscillator plus some complications, and we were asked to find the eigenenergies and what that Hamiltonian corresponded to physically. And I kind of, I didn't quite run out of time, but I couldn't think of where to go with that. When I got home today, though, I thought about it and I was able to solve it. To no surprise, it did end up being something similar to the harmonic oscillator, just shifted around a little bit. Um, so I'm happy that I was able to solve it. That means that I do understand how to solve these problems. Just 10 minutes per question, I guess, uh, I wasn't able to do it in that much time. But I think that's fine because we were also given a bonus question that I think made up for that. But the final problem, which was the bonus problem, was really just solving an eigenvalue eigenvector problem for something very similar to the harmonic oscillator potential. So it just seems like this quiz was our professor saying, all right, if I change this a little bit, are you going to freak out? And it also kind of seemed like he was implying that, you know, it's, it's a harmonic oscillator quiz, so we should probably have the shit down by now, and if he changes it a little bit, you should still be able to solve the problem relatively quickly, hence 50 minutes for five problems, and I guess that's still room for improvement on my part. However, he did say that some of the problems should be one-liners, and I remember one took me like half a page or like 10 lines, so if a one-liner would give you a 100%, then that means that I at least got a 1000% on this quiz, which is good. But that's it. That's the quiz. Overall, I thought it was super fair. That question that I'm not going to get full points on, it's not because it was too difficult. It's just one of those questions where I, I couldn't see the pattern right away, and I'm kind of kicking myself now that I was able to solve it. But, you know, I can't be too mad when it doesn't mean I don't understand the material, it just means that I couldn't solve it quickly. But that also just gives me something to work on and continue to work on. In the comment section, let me know how your exams and your quizzes are going. And I'll see you guys there.